Hey everyone, in this problem we have three sets. A is the set of all x such that x is bigger than 3. B is the set of all x such that x is less than or equal to 0. And C is the set of all x and the line is red such that x is, and this is between, when you see this you think x is between negative 1 and 4. And so what we'll do is we'll find the union and intersection of sets. So the first example, A, Let's find A intersect B. So the easiest way to find A intersect B is to graph both sets. So this is A. So we'll draw a number line. And 3 is maybe here. And it's all the numbers bigger than 3. So the numbers bigger than 3 are to the right of 3. So they're over here. And we're not including the 3 because we have the greater than sign. So that means we'll have a parentheses. So this is the graph of the set A. Okay, now let's look at the set B. So I'll draw a number line. Okay, and then here is 0. All right, and then B is the set of all x such that x is less than or equal to 0. Okay, So that means it's all the numbers over here. And then less than or equal to, well the equal to part means that you use a bracket, you include the 0. So the intersection is what they have in common, right? Well they have nothing in common, so the answer in this case is the empty set. So the intersection of these two sets is the empty set. So the intersection is what they have in common, and again they have nothing in common. Let's do B. What if we do A union B? A union B is the set of all X's such that X is in A, X is in B, or X is in both. So it's everything they have in common. So if you were to graph both of these sets on the same number line, it would look something like this. Let me use a different color. So here's 3. So this is a, and then here's 0, and this is B. Beautiful stuff. So this is the graph of A union B. So um, in the answer in interval notation would be parentheses, negative infinity to 0, bracket, union, and then uh, parentheses 3, to infinity. So that would be uh, the answer uh, for the union of these two sets. Let's look at maybe um, A intersect C. So part C. Let's look at A intersect C. Okay, I'll go ahead and draw A again just for convenience. So we said A is this green line here and then we'll use purple to indicate the elements. So here's 3, and we said this was A. All right, that's from over here. And now let's look at the graph of C. So C is all the numbers between negative 1 and 4. So let's see. So negative 1 is maybe here, and 4 is maybe here. Right? It's a little bit bigger than 3, so I want to make sure I line these up correctly. And um, there's an equal to part here at the negative 1. That means we include um, the negative 1, so we'll use a bracket. And then the 4 has a, greater, a less than symbol, so it's a parentheses. So A intersect B is what these sets have in common. So it um, looks like it's only this piece here that they have in common, this red region here, right? So taking these together, we would have 3 four, and they're both parentheses, right? And then so you would just shade everything in the middle, so like that. So the answer to this question would be parentheses three comma four. All right, three comma four, that would be the intersection. So I hope this video uh, has been helpful to someone out there who's learning about unions and intersections. That's it.